hi guys, you know what time of the month it is? It's time for the wrap up and to be reads. So first I'm going to start off with my April re reads, you know, uh, what I read in April. And it's pretty bad and if you notice I didn't do a March reads wrap up video because I didn't read any books in March. I went into a huge reading slump where I didn't read books for a month and a half and you know getting back into reading books it was I was very slow with it and um, I only read two books in April but I have a huge to be read list for May so let me t tell you what I read in April. So the first book I read in April was Requiem by Lauren Oliver. Uh, I finished this like yesterday, but I didn't put it on my Goodreads until today, but I finished it. Um, I liked it. I really did. And it's the last in the trilogy, the Delirium trilogy. It goes Delirium, Pandemonium, Requiem. And uh, I really like this book. I liked it as a conclusion. And... I read the Alex story in the back of this book, and I liked it. And the second book I read in April that I'm still reading, but I only have 70 pages left, so I'm going to breeze through it before the midnight. So, the second book I read, or is currently reading, is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Um, this is a good book so far. I don't know how it ends, but the beginning's very slow. It kind of gives a big backstory. If you don't know what this book's about, it's basically about incest. And it's very awkward to read, but you get used to it. Um, I really like it, though. I think the writing is amazing, and I think the story is weird, but it's good, too. So I recommend this book. I have a huge um, to-be-read list for May. And, you know, I say huge, you might think it's small, but I'm just going to list off the books. I want to read Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, and probably when I finish this book, I'm going to want to read Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Um, these are the last two books in the Infernal Devices trilogy. I read Clockwork Angel a while ago, and I haven't read Clockwork Prince, even though I should have, and I just got Clockwork Princess, like, last week. So I'm probably gonna read this one and then this one, and I'll tell you in a second how I'm going to decide. Um, the next book I'm going to read is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Um, the reason I'm reading this book is because through all the rest of my books, they're like supernatural weird books. And this is just a book set in the normal world with normal girl problems. And I thought that that would be a good book for me to read since, you know, kind of gets me back into reality a little bit. And I've been delaying reading this book. It's Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Um, I was supposed to read this book back in February, but look how long it is, and I went into a reading slump. So, this book did not look appealing. But, I want to try and read this series, Saga, um, because I want to see the movie. And I won't see a movie unless I read the book. Crank by Ellen Hopkins. Um, I bought this book a while ago for like a dollar and um look how big it is reading slump or uh, the all these books are so big except for one or two and i just i want to read this series saga thing and i only have the first book so. so the last book that i'm thinking about reading is shiver by maggie um, this is the first in a trilogy i think it goes shiver and then linger and then I don't remember what the last book's called, but I know that it's red. I started reading this book. If you can see, there's a red bookmark in there. I got about that far. And that's, this is the beginning, so I didn't get very far. What I like about the book is that the t everything is blue. Like, 
the cover is blue and the text is blue. Um, I really like it. I like the idea of this book and hopefully because it's a smaller book I can get it done. So now on to how I'm going to choose them because I know if I just choose them it's going to be like the first two are going to be the short books and then the long books. What I did was I put all the names of the books except for Clockwork Princess because I have to read it after Clockwork Prince. Um, I put all the books in this pile. I wrote them on pieces of paper and I put them in this jar. I got this idea from Kat and I'll link her channel down below. She's fabulous. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a random piece of paper. You see, I'm not looking. So this is going to be the book I'm going to read first in May. And let's see what the lucky winner is. Hey look, it's Clockwork Prince. Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess will be the first two books I will be reading in May. So that is a fun time. And I hope you liked this video. Subscribe for more reading related videos and maps. So I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.